Uh, hi, my name's Scott, and I'm doing some really cool stuff with the Raspberry Pi. Um, so what I wanted to do or use it for is a mobile car device or a mobile device of some sort. So I need to put a battery pack on it. So let's pan down to a Raspberry Pi here. Um, most of you guys know what a Raspberry Pi is. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is the Raspberry Pi Model B. Um, what it has is 512 RAM, which is right there. Uh, it's got two USB ports. They're stacked up, up on top. And then an HDMI port, LAN port, and then video, audio, and then here's your headers. So fun stuff. Uh, also, here's where you give power to it. And then on the back side, is where the hard drive or the flash memory is. So all the data is actually on there. It runs like 35 bucks, so it's easily affordable in your price range, which is nice. So, but most people already know about it. So anyway, this is what's actually going to do all the intellectual work for my uh, my mobile device. So, since we got that out of the way, we need another piece of hardware. And that is the voltage regulator. So I'm going to provide all the links uh, in the description below. But what this is, or what this is and uh, does, is voltage regulation. So you put in 12 volt over here, up, and you can get 5 volt and 3.3 .3 on the other side, which is kind of nice. So why you need that though is to do some voltage regulation on your battery pack. So you can have your own custom battery pack, whatever the heck you want, but uh, this is what I'm using, some lithium ion battery pack that I had forever. So we're going to use this in combination with the voltage regulator and then connect that to our Raspberry Pi. So I'll connect all of it and we'll be back in a bit. Okay, now that uh, we're back and I put it all together, I'm going to show you where the cords co co uh, and come from. So we've got the Raspberry Pi here. You can see that it's actually getting power. Um, so where that power is coming from is the volt or the uh, battery pack. So let's just trace our way from the battery pack to the Raspberry Pi. So we've got our normal black and red cords for the positive and negative. Uh, that go from this to the voltage regulator right there. But before we get there, uh, this is how I charge it. <laughs> a little nice a little proprietary method for uh, charging uh, laptop uh, enclosures. So uh, I just splice that cable on there and I feed that 12 volt to both my battery pack and then the voltage regulator if I need it. Uh, so 12 volt goes in and on the board itself, there's a 3.3 .3 over here. But what I'm using, and what I care about, is the 5 volt rail. So I use uh, some other computer equipment that I had on in stock, and I just ran the wire right from that to the Raspberry Pi. And that's how it gets power. Since I am going to use this for a, a mobile car unit, um, I have to drive some motors uh, through these like GPIO headers over here. Oh, right over there. We'll be using those eventually. Um, but this is actually what uh, gives the motors enough power in order to like move. So you put your 12 volt from the battery or even from your uh, regulator board over there uh, to the motors and then I believe these are the pins for um, the headers over here. So anyway, I got links to uh, all these pieces of equipment except the wiring. Um, you can find your own way to wire stuff. but. Anyway, I'll have those all those links in the description. So, um, an interesting fact is that you can actually bypass this thing altogether and and uh, have a powered USB hub and run the Raspberry Pi right off of that. So, anyway, 
uh, this is this was my informative video, and I hope you learned something today. I don't even know what I was supposed to say. <laughs> uh, okay, well here's the Raspberry Pi. Oh. This is the mo Raspberry Pi Model Two, Model Model Two, Model B. Let's start again. <laughs> 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 That's fine.